Welcome back. We are bringing you a story of survival and resilience. The story of how a local woman reflects on an event that changed her life forever. For many, the memories of September 11, 2001 are distant, for, but for those who witnessed it firsthand, the scares are everlasting. Fox 33's Alicia Gatewood shares what Marissa Diaz witnessed that day 23 years ago. And that day was so, it was an autumn, beautiful, crisp New York day, like no cloud in the sky, like beautiful. And if you were to tell me, you know, that this was going to happen, I'd be like, I don't believe you. In New York City, Marissa Diaz was working at the Madison Square Gardens building on top of Penn Station, where she heard the sound that would change her life forever. Go over there and see the twin, you know, one of the towers on, on fire and they're, oh my gosh. Well, now the confusion also sets in as to like, okay, well, are we the next building? Like, should we evacuate? Like, what's going to happen? We have no idea. And then when, once you, the other tower hit, you were like, oh my goodness, this is not accident, right? This is like, something's going on. As the world watched in shock. Move it, come on! Marissa watched from her window at work, witnessing one of the deadliest attacks in U.S. history. We actually witnessed the towers fall. I think at that point when you're like, how is this possible? Like, there's people in those buildings. They are, they're still in those buildings. Like, how am I watching this? Like, what can I do? How is this fair? You know, like, how is this even possible that this is happening to, like, humanity and like the situation and like there's people in that building right now and I'm watching this building and what's going to happen right like and am, are we am I going to die at this point because we're at this building and we have no idea where we're going. Memories of that day still haunt her. She recalls walking through clouds of ash and debris, getting a sense of how a city so lively could stand still. The debris was so massive that it blew all the way up to where we were at. When you went outside, it was like time stood still. I've, I've never experienced that ever in my life where it was the taxi cabs cars were open and we were listening to the radio because remember we don't have our cell phones we can't communicate with anybody who we were with at work is who we were with 23 years later the journey of healing continues she says the lesson remains vital as ever about compassion resilience and never taking a moment for granted the humanity that i saw in people in new york saying do you need some water Restaurants were open. Do you need a pair of shoes? Because people were in their work shoes. People were in their high heels. People were like, you know, whatever you're at, you were at. Not prepared for that day. So that reminds me of just how important it is, like, to be grateful and to live life to its fullest every day. Because you never know. If you were to tell me on that day, I would have been like, you're crazy. No. No. Yalisha Gatewood, Fox 33 News. Oh, wow. Amazing storytelling by Alicia there and and Marissa just to share her story is so heart gripping and amazing. She's one of our most valued employees here and so we thank her for sharing her story. Well, we remember the events of 9-11 we honor those who we lost and carry the memories of those who saved so many lives that fateful day.